Yo, what's going on? Here is the camera guy, Jay Mobs Inc. Back again with another video. Happy holidays, guys. Haven't seen you in a while. Hope everybody's good. Now today, we got another tutorial video, and we're gonna be specifically going over a very well-known effect that's been going around in the music video world for a minute now. Yes, I'm talking about the glow effects that's been circulating through music videos for this whole 2019, 2018. It's really crazy, and today I'm gonna give you an easy way to do this in Final Cut Pro. Now, before I get into it, I gotta give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's videos. Yes, we got a sponsor, City Packs. City Packs with the homie Tyler Casey. He hit me up, asked me if I wanted to collab on showing how to use the glow effects to pack in Final Cut Pro. And today I'm gonna show you a short tutorial about how I did that. I'm actually gonna roll some clips of some music videos that I actually used the glow effects back to. And you're gonna get a promo code. My own promo code is gonna be right here on the screen, Davis TCG, and you're gonna get 10%, I think it's 10% off your next order when you go on Cinepax. Cinepax is a great site where they have a lot of transitions, a lot of presets, a lot of uh, overlays where you can go in and just apply them in, in Final Cut and they just work. You know, I say so shout out to the homie, uh, Tyler Casey and Cine Parks are sponsoring today's video. So let's get into the tutorial. We're gonna just go into Final Cut Pro. I already got it open and I already got a clip from the Swervin music video that I did with Ducky. I'm actually gonna link that above so you can watch that. It's been doing really good. Appreciate it if you guys like that video and check it out. Um, yeah, so I got a clip here already loaded in. So what I'm gonna do is actually gonna add an adjustment there. All right, so we applied a basic quick let on it. Uh, this is from the Mood Pack uh, 2.0, Brown Treason. Make sure to get that in the South High store. That's on the website. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go into my assets folder. And this is where I keep all of my effects, my overlay effects and all of that good stuff. So we're gonna go to Glow Effects 2.0. You can see I have Glow Effects 1.0. I actually purchased that on my own, but you know, I was lucky to get 2.0. So, the effects that we got here, we got a whole multitude of effects. So, if I wanted to see, what is he doing in the frame? All right, so. He's doing something with his hands here where he's going like back and forth, hitting the ground right there. So it's gonna do something right there, probably like a lightning drop or something like that. So as you go through the park, uh, you just gotta find something that matches. City loop. Okay, so we got a small explosion, right? What we're gonna do with this explosion is you go over to your blend modes, you're gonna change that to screen, and now you can see right where the frame where I want it. You see where you put it right on the frame. So you can go in and you can adjust the size. Let's see, it's tilted a bit. So it's really interactive and you can play around with, you know, if you want it to be big or small. <laughs> All right, so. It's a little off right there. I want it to go a little uh, later in the clip. Let's bring that switch it over. Right there. Perfect. So, I can increase the size of this, make it a little bigger. All right, 
so that's our first one let's go and add another one that's going to be a little more challenging so something like that you could just place at the bottom of the screen and it's going to be perfectly in you don't have to alter it or nothing so let's do something a little harder so as you go and you get more into the video let's see All right, so right here, he's doing like a little dance movement. Let's go and put like a lightning bolt coming straight around him. And we do have, we did pass one. Electricity wide. I actually use this in the video. They're gonna try and do this a little different. So like I said, you go to blend modes and then you go to screen. All we're gonna do is turn this It happened so fast, I didn't even see it on screen. So let's look at it again. All right, so what you want to do is you got to slow it down because sometimes it could be a little off and you don't want it to go fully off course. So let's drag it in like that. And this is where the cool part comes in. Like you can go frame by frame. See, it doesn't like fully go straight around his body. The legs are fine, but then it kind of like just collapses up there to his hand. I mean, it's workable, but I'm not really too 100% with it. So let's just try to adjust that a bit. So you can see where the spacing starts to come in. So you can scale that down some more actually. I think it's only gonna go as far as his hand. So what we can do here actually is we can copy this and paste it right on top with the exact same settings. And as this one finishes, you can have like a stream of lightning going up. So if you look at that and you play it back, you got a full stream of lightning. <laughs> so let's just let that render for a sec. And then we're gonna see just exactly how much of it actually came out right. So let's hit done. All right, so let's run it out. Let's see it play out. And it's so fast, like you could barely even see it. So the cool thing about these is, is that these already have cutouts. So it's like, you don't have to do the annoying work of like going frame by frame and drawing these actually uh, on the subject. It could have been a little smoother, but for the purpose of the video, you know, I just wanted it to be done to show you how it's done. But uh, yeah, it's smoother and it came out great. So let's look at our full sequence. So we got three effects already on. We got the explosion. And as it goes down, it's going to keep going into this movement. And then we're going to get into the electricity. And then we're gonna get into the final set of movements. But look at my, look, look, this is me being dumb. This is my head in the frame. I was, yeah. But anyway, uh, let's do the last set of frames right here. And this is gonna be probably the most, it's not even difficult in Final Cut. It's really not even difficult. 
but this is going to be the most um, tedious part of the whole process and it's not hard at all so the dollar sign the money dollar signs I actually use this in the video I want to get the dollar sign on his eyes so you gotta put it in screen it I'm gonna go back to the spot And for me, comes about right there. All right. So see, the fun part about this is, is that I could barely see his is uh, where the effect is. So I have this one little stream to work with right now. But as I change frames, I get a bit of a closer look of how it's supposed to be so I can scale this down okay so let's go back to the beginning remember now this is your first point you put this on his eyes right above his eye now you're gonna keep freeing when you keyframe, you're gonna keyframe your X and Y axis. Keyframe also keyframe uh, your scale axis. This is the fun part. You're gonna move forward one frame and you just drag it down. And once you've created the keyframe and you continue to do this over and over, it's actually gonna track it for you. So you can adjust, you can change these, you can change the size change where it is exactly and just pull down just alter just to follow his eyes these little dots right on the screen those are the keyframes and you just follow and adjust this is literally the most tedious, tedious part of the whole video, of the whole fact tutorial. This is literally the most tedious part of the whole tutorial. And once, wait, and you can actually cut that short about right there because he comes out of the frame. So once we do that, we hit the little arrow button and we've made our keyframes. You hit done, and that is already rendered out. So as you can see in playback, I have a perfectly tracked effect done in final cut pro with the glow effects so it's not hard if you have some effects just sitting there and you want them to move with your subject you just have to take a little bit of time and keyframe the actual frame out easy so let's cut together this whole sequence and watch this happen again So with that being said, that has been a quick video on how to use the Glow GlowFX 2 from Cinepax in Final Cut Pro, a quick tutorial on how to get it done. Everything was made simply easy. I try to keep this, um, these tutorials nice and um, basic for you guys because anybody should be able to do this. You know, if you're interested in filmmaking, like these effects are available and people like me want to make it easier for you guys to, you know, get in and use these effects and make your video production go up a notch. 
while you're here don't forget to like and subscribe on this video thank you to everybody that has subscribed you guys have been the best actually i've been seeing way more support coming in on the channel and it's all gonna help out in the long run i know it is so definitely from now on in the holidays into 2020 thank you from me to everybody i think that's gonna be it so yeah, I'm Davis Gamma Guy. I'll see you guys in the next video.